I think we talk about households a lot because obviously we have a technology where our currency is households. You know, most technology works off of IP addresses, mobile ID locators, emails. You know, I know me personally, I have 10, 15 different emails. Um, but what doesn't change is my address. So um, the address is the uh, currency that we like to use. Um, also, you know, limitations in Google Analytics. Um, you know, you're only seeing visitors. Uh, you're not actually seeing who the people are that are visiting your website. Um, and, you know, they are only tracking, you know, browser views. So, um, but we know that there are multiple devices within a household. Um, and we never know exactly who in the household is looking at what. So owning the household, owning the postal, um, talking about, you know, uh, customer profiles, um, that's sort of like, that should be the new language that we're using um, in, in marketing. So um, households are big because you can then target the entire household. Uh, you know, we call it immersive household retargeting where the entire mm -hmm. household can be um, target it with advertising uh, because we know that there's multiple influencers in, in the home. I mean, I mentioned, you know, uh, when my wife was pregnant, again, that was not how I found out. She did tell me. I'm just, <laughs> um, but I did start, we did start getting the retargeting ads, right? So from Infamil and different, um, you know, uh, strollers and that type of thing. So like there's multiple decision makers in the house that, you know, can help. So, that's why the household, owning the household, um, it's much more accurate than email. Um, so we use our currency as the uh, addressable post office. And there's, I mean, oh, okay. outside of, of you know your company, um, there's just been also a shift where advertisers are really considering household to be a good way to, or at least including household in the mix to, um, to include in the strategy because uh, of some of the reasons that you said with there being, you know, one, one individual can attribute to five different devices, exactly. not yeah. really a good gauge about, you know, how and what the budget should be and where we should spend. Um, but also uh, I looked up a stat to prepare for this, but 88% of Americans use a second screen while watching TV. And so the value of, I mean, that it's disappointing and yes. Yeah, but I mean, we watch TV with, with, the, with our phones in our hands, for sure. For sure. And, and there's, there's a lot to be said about influencing people where, where they're at, but also just marrying that up with shoppers are engaging, you know, partners and children in some of their decision making, whether it be life stage, like babies and wedding rings and you know, yep. big purchasing like cars and houses and home services of things that you need to do to fix your home, but also verticals like fitness and insurance and financial decisions and luxury items. So it's not necessarily just one or two verticals. It's This is kind of across the board that you're going to want to focus on household um, and including that in, in your marketing strategy. Mm -hmm.